How's it? This is Mark Heil, and I'm going to be uh, sharing a little bit about Word. Um, now, Microsoft Word, I mean, everyone usually learns Microsoft Word either in elementary school or middle school, and then they just build upon that knowledge. I learned it in middle school and in high school. Then in college, I used it a lot, took another class on it. And then after college, kept using it, and I wanted to learn more, so I took the and got the specialty license for office. So that really helped. I really encourage you guys to uh, check out that Microsoft test um, to test out on Office and other um, programs so that when you apply for jobs they see that because almost all jobs they really want you to have really good uh, Microsoft Word skills at least. So um, and then Excel of course so and then PowerPoint or presentations so yeah. Um, now I'm going to show you guys where. So open up Word. I'm using the Mac version 2009, um, even though it's 2011 right now. Now instead of, now you see this? This is a mouse, okay? And you see this? This is a keyboard. They're supposed to be used equally, okay? Um, so many people, they click, 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 click. Well, don't click. Like, press that keyboard with your left hand so the left hand doesn't get jealous. So here we go. Uh, so command N to new. And this makes a new document. Another thing about learning uh, shortcuts and advantage is sometimes it doesn't matter if the version changes or not. Like they might change all this menu systems like they have in the past, but the shortcuts usually always stay the same. So command N uh, opens it. If you want to close just the document but still keep Word open, command W because notice C Word still open. Okay. Uh, if you want to open up a document that you say before, command O as in octopus, and then you can open up that. But today we're going to start with a new document. Uh, I'm going to paste in some text uh, just so we have something to work with. Okay. Uh, this was an assignment that we did in class or will do in class. So here we go. Uh, now I made a list of some of the uh, shortcuts I'm going to be teaching you. Now, one thing to do is make sure that it's always saving, okay? You may want to go into Word, and in, um, and in Word you have Preferences, okay? And in Preferences, there's a lot of things that you can do to, like, um, make sure that your settings are happening right. But one of the things is, like, auto-saving. Like, you can choose how often it saves it. For me, I always hit Command-S, which is save, maybe... Uh, every few minutes just because I'm always paranoid that the power is gonna go out or something crazy is gonna happen like a vulture is gonna come and sweep me away and I'm gonna lose all that work even now I'm writing a 12 page paper on uh, the effectiveness of a digital footprint and the methodology and a lot of research and so I don't want to lose that work so make sure you hit command s as much as possible um, to do, save yourself time now um, let's say you make a mistake. I make lots of mistakes. So like if you select something and then, oh no, it's gone. Where did my stuff go? Well, you can easily get that back by Command Z. And again, I'm using a Mac. If you're on a PC, just hit Control um, and do that. But let's say you deleted it and you undo it, but then you want to redo it. Okay, so Command Y is to redo. Command Z is undo. Uh, of course, you know, copy, paste, command C, and then you can command V. And of course, that works for other browsers and almost all applications these days. Um, let's say I'm typing it up a uh, paper here, and I'm trying to find the word university. So what I'm going to do is hit find, university, and hit next, and boom, there it is. It found the word university. Okay. Um, so it's a really good job if you have a really long paper and you're trying to find certain words. That's also helpful on the internet. You can also do that with Firefox and Chrome and Safari, Command F. You can find things on a page really easy. So definitely utilize that one. Um, of course, you know, like, so as you see these are bold, right? How do you unbold? Uh, Command B. To bold, Command B. Underline, Command U. Uh, italicize, Command I. Right? So... Um, definitely use those ones. Um, okay. Um, 
So I'm going to move down to less common things. So all those are pretty much common, and these are less common. Um, now, Command Shift D, okay. See this? It underlines everything, okay. Um, Command Shift. What did I say? D is double underlined, okay. So now everything's double instead of uh, single. Um, if you do want to change the font, you can hit Command D and it'll bring up the font and you can change it like the size and the style and all that stuff. One thing that is very useful is let's say you have a header right here and it's supposed to be in all caps. Well, instead of like deleting it and doing all caps again, hit Command D and then in your little box that you brings up, just hit all caps and then boom, it's all caps for you that you can use. So that's very helpful. Um, let's say you want to change the whole the a font of a paragraph to be bigger or smaller. Okay. Um, how do you do that? Well, if you go and hit command and then bracket right bracket, it gets bigger and then smaller left bracket. So again, it's changing the size. If you look up here, it's changing the size um, one point every time I hit that button. So that's really helpful. If you're a newspaper and you want to have it justified, command J, it justifies your font. And I'm going to get a little bit bigger so you guys can see this. So notice that everything is down and justified on the line. Uh, very different than up here where it doesn't justify it. So again, I use this for a lot of newspapers and such. Um, hanging indents always important. So you have a paragraph, right? Double click on it and then command J, okay? Or you can click, um, sorry, you take out this justify. Um, if you don't want to justify, you can use a format painter right here and then you can paint um, this exact format. So I had a format that I didn't want, and I had a format here that I wanted. So I highlight, I hit Format Painter with the brush, the, um, the paintbrush, and then I highlight over the font that I want. And it will copy the exact same properties, including color and size and style. So that's really helpful. Uh, but what we're trying to do is, I forgot what we're trying to do, hanging indents. Uh, yeah. Okay, Command T. Okay, so if you hit tab, it tabs it way over, and that's too far, okay? That's way too far for um, something like that. And instead of zooming in, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. So instead of hitting tab, okay, I'm going to hit, what did I say? Command T. So it's going to um, tab it over. Sorry, right, Command J. Command J is justify. And Command T, you can tab it over. And then tab is way over. Okay, so check that. Um, a lot of times your teacher will say, okay, I want a double space. Well, just hit Command A, Command 2, done. Thank you. And then the teacher changes their mind, like, oh, no, I meant single space. Oh, boom, done, teacher. And then a teacher is really fickle and they're like, oh, wait, no, I want it half a space. Oh, command five, done, teacher. So you can impress them and give them what they want, okay? Now, if you want to insert a line break, um, a lot of times, sometimes there's like weird spacing. I'm going to go back to single spacing. Sometimes if you copy text from the internet, not that you would do that for a research paper, but if there's like weird and you if you hit enter like you hit enter and it skips one and there's an extra line here okay all you have to do is hit shift enter and then it will like break the line and go immediately below it that works on email and the internet too so if you ever hit enter and the spacing's really weird uh that's the way you do it shift enter okay um, so yeah, those are some less common things that will help your life be more better. 
um, oh, I forgot centering, okay? So this is, see this is left center, okay? Um, let's try center, what is, okay, so to get left align, command L, center align, command, not C, because C is copy, what's the letter after C? Yes, command E, okay, and then command R, and it goes for right align, and again, that's the whole thing. Okay, so we did that. Now, let's do something a little bit interesting, okay? Um, I'm going to show you guys. Now, selecting things, okay? If I ha click on most right here, I'm going to move up even more, okay? If I'm on England or England, okay, and I hit shift and then the right arrow, okay, it's gonna highlight and I keep clicking shift, it's gonna highlight each character and then here's the left, okay, so that can be helpful. Helpful. If I hit shift option left, it's the whole world word. So shift option left, 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 okay, option. Shift option right, 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 right. Okay. And if I hit command, sorry, shift command right, it goes all the way over. Command, shift command left, all the way over. Okay. So that's a helpful tip for highlighting text because then you can cut, copy, all that good stuff. Um, yeah. Um, if you want to move, let's say you want to delete the next word. If you hit Command Delete, it um, removes the word before it. Okay. Command Shift Delete does nothing. Okay. Um, but Command, all right. So Command Delete deletes that word behind it. Command Delete. Sorry. On your keyboard, there's two different letters. Okay. On your uh, right here that goes deletes back this one deletes forward okay so use both delete buttons accordingly to what you want deleted if you want to go um, home not like leave school and go home but go to the uh, home of your document if you click it once, again, and again, home is on the right of your delete button, the big delete button. If you hit home, it'll go like to the home of the line. If you hit command home, it'll go to the beginning of it. If you hit command N, it'll go to the end of it. And again, just N will go to the end of it, of a line. So that's really helpful too. Okay, so those are the shortcuts that are really helpful. Um, there's a lot more. Sometimes I like to just play around and just heart command and just start um, hitting letters. And then you can discover new and creative uh, shortcuts. So have fun. I hope I made your life easier for the future.